Hello, everyone. I'm very excited to be here today to talk about a topic that we are very passionate about. This is a topic that we think will be very important for all the entrepreneurs in the audience, for all the executives, for investors, and board members. It's called the unfair advantage of the new boardroom. Let me set the stage with three propositions. My first proposition is that how to run a company is about to change dramatically. The second thing is that the way the board operates will also change. The board has operated in the same way for many decades. We believe those days are over. And as a consequence of this, what we really see, which really is the important message of my presentation, is that we are about to see an entire new software category emerging. In order to give you an understanding of what, went, what vantage point we are coming from, we give you a little background on Meltwater. So Meltwater is the global leader in using social media analytics. We are a Norwegian startup. We started out in Norway, 2001. Two guys in a coffee machine, as the introducer was saying. Over the years, we moved to San Francisco. So we are now headquartered in San Francisco. Globally, we have 1,100 employees. We have 24,000 corporate clients. We have more than 50 offices across the world. And what we are really proud of is that the company is bootstrapped. So for the first 12 years, we did not take any venture funding. We did not do any uh, debt. Everything was built on the $15,000. And we think that's cool. But let me bring you to the beginning. This was the very start. Our official address back in the days was Shack 15, Skure 15. It was on Tjuvolmen. It was when Tjuvolmen was really run down. Since then, Tjuvolmen has been um, refurbished. But we were sitting there in uh, buildings that was about to be um, completely demolished. The computers that you see was actually computers that we were given, uh, given by an old client of mine, Netavisen. So they were obsolete computers. And what we did was that we picked the components from those computers that worked, and that's how we put together the first server farm. So the product vision back in the days, in 2001, was that there's so much information that's being published on the internet, and it's really hard to track that information manually. And it's obvious that you need software to do that. And our product vision was that when executives come to work in the morning and have a normal cup of coffee, within seconds, we're going to provide them with information that helps them understand what happened in the world in the last 24 hours. What are people saying about their brand? What is happening with their customers? What is happening with their competitors? And general updates about the industry. And our aspiration was to help executives to make more informed decisions. And over the years, our service has become increasingly more complex. And under the hood, it's become a very sophisticated technology. Every day now, we process more than 100 million documents and 2 trillion searches. So we capture data, we enrich data, we have our own search engine, and of course, we do a lot of real-time analytics. And over the years, what we have concluded is that the business we are in is really tracking leading performance indicators. We really try to help companies understand what's going to happen going forward. So for example, a brand. A brand is much more than a marketing metric. A brand is a leading performance indicators. Same thing with customer satisfaction. If your customer satisfaction is good, it's encouraging. Customer satisfaction is also a leading performance indicator. And you can create all sorts of sophisticated share of voice so you can see how well you are doing compared to your competitors. And of course, all of that gives you very interesting competitive intelligence. So going from what was initially a sophisticated Google Alert, our service has become a very sophisticated tool for competitive intelligence and for executives to understand how well they are doing in the future. And over the years, we captured more than 24 corporate clients, everything from big companies like Coca-Cola, Nike, McDonald's, Intel, IBM, Google. Um, but also organizations like Harvard University, Manchester United Football Club. Even the Pope in Rome is a client of ours. So I used to say, we have everything from Coca-Cola to the Pope in Rome. All right, let's back to the main topic. So what we see is a fundamental shift in focus from internal to external data. And 
And if you think about inter internal data, for decades now, we've been very rigorously mining all our internal data. It's become a good business practice and management practice to be on top of your data, to be data driven. But if you think about the internal data, internal data are fundamentally lagging performance indicators. They are the end results of activities and investments that took place in the past, sometimes months, quarters, sometimes even years in the past. If you want to understand more what's going to happen going forward, we believe that internet is one of the most valuable sources for those kind of insights. Think about job postings. All the different chess moves all your competitors are doing, you can find them in job postings, you can find them in patent filings, maybe you can find them in credit ratings. There's a wide range of data out there that give you clues about how your future competitive landscape is going to look like. And those are all leading performance indicators. And a simple way to look at this is that if you only look at, if you only manage a company by your internal data, it's like driving your car looking in a rearview mirror. But what you want, of course, is to understand what's going ahead. And we believe that in order for you to fully understand what's going to go ahead, you need to lift, yeah, you need to look up from your internal reporting system and look at the external data. And external data is not going to be anything less. It's just enormous amount of data out there. And this staggering quote from Eric Schmidt that I'm sure that you've seen as well, every two days now, we create as much information as we did from the dawn of civilization up till 2003. Absolutely staggering. And we are living in a day, or we're living at a time today where everyone leaves digital breadcrumbs. I'm sure that you, some of you tweeted when you came here to Slush. You were leaving some digital breadcrumbs. Same thing with companies. If an executive link up with somebody else on LinkedIn, is it digital breadcrumb? Maybe there's a partnership. Maybe there's a potential acquisition. Maybe there's a potential client. A job posting, a patent filing, all of these are strategic intents. Digital breadcrumbs that help you understand where they are heading. And this increased complexity drives the development towards more data-assisted decision-making. And it doesn't matter how smart you are, if you don't have the data, if you don't have a computer to help you do the analytics, you will miss out. Net-net, we believe corporate decision-making is going to change. It's going to go through a significant overhaul. And decision-making is going to change in three key aspects. Number one, you add more data. Instead of only having internal data, obviously you now add external data. And an interesting thing with uh, external data are numbers. Number one, 85% of your future success is related to external factors, according to a Harvard Business Review article. Think about that for a moment. 85% of your future success is a factor of external factors. If you then look at your internal data, clearly there are lots of information you're missing out on. Secondly, external data, you can track all the different chess moves that all your different competitors are doing. External data can give you that information much faster and much better than your internal data. And an interesting thing I think with external data is also that they're external, they're third party meaning that not biased and processed with your internal organization. So for example, if you're a board member, I'm sure that you have seen the same problem many times. It's really hard to fully understand exactly what's going on within a company. The data that you presented, the management report you presented, you know, regardless of good intentions, they are managed, they are processed, and they support the narrative. And it's a human nature that you find data to support your narrative. The interesting thing with external data, they are third party. They are objective. They are not a function of internal processing. Second thing with decision making is that timing has completely changed. For, for, for first, you can detect moves by your competitor before they make a dent in your result. Historically, you reacted once your sales were um, softening or you could actually see it in internal data. Another interesting thing with external data and the timing of it is that you can actually see 
the entire ecosystem change when you, may, when you do your moves. So for example, if you double down the marketing, say in Germany, how does your competitor react to that? Do they double down the marketing as well and neutralizing your investment? How do the clients respond to that? So not only can you detect other moves, but you, and you can see how the entire ecosystem is moving and adapting to every single player's move. And the result of that is fundamentally that as a company or as an executive, when you run a company, it becomes increasingly more like a massive A-B testing exercise. As an executive, you're making moves, and then you see in real time which moves are effective and which moves are not. So you can strategize plan B, plan C. Is it better to double down the marketing in Germany, or is it better to offer a price campaign in the US? And in real time, you can measure the effect of both. And third time, of course, is benchmarking. And I think this external space is phenomenal for benchmarking. I call this benchmark science. Because fundamentally, if you think about it, your results are a lot less interesting unless it's compared to your competitor. So say you have increased your client satisfaction with 10% every quarter for the last four quarters. Fantastic, right? But if you think about it, if your competitor has increased their client satisfaction with 50%, net-net, you have lost ground. So the most honest measure for your success and for your result is really an apples to apples comparison with your competitors. And if you do take the key strategic dimensions for your company, if you sit back as an entrepreneur, as a board member, as an investor, and think, what are the key strategic dimensions? What are the key arenas I need to be successful in order to outsmart my competition? Maybe it's the brand. Maybe it's the product. Maybe it's customer satisfaction. Maybe it's investment in sales and marketing. Whatever it is, if you use external data using an apples to apples comparison and track how well you're doing to your competitors, fundamentally what you are creating is something maybe you can call your competitive health. This competitive health will then predict how well you are going to do in the future. So, OK, so this is making a change, so what? Well, we believe there's a new software category that's about to emerge. It started with online clipping, moved into social media, and fundamentally we come to a space where you have software that in a very sophisticated way mine a wide range of data types. And we have decided to call this space outside inside. And we believe this is a massive opportunity. And I, I look at my time and I see that I don't have time to go through all of it. But fundamentally, what I will say is, over the last few decades, there was a trillion dollar on market cap created internally. Started with a database, was an application stack, workflow, analytics, and visualization. The whole same thing we expect to see externally. And externally, it will not start with a database. It will start with a search engine, because the data is unstructured. And on top of that search engine, there will be an application stack, there will be a workflow, visualization, and analytics. And in summary, if you want to run your company efficiently, we believe that you have to look beyond the internal reporting system and pay attention to external data. Decision making in the future will be a lot more like a massive A-B testing exercise in real time as events unfold. And a new guest of honor in the boardroom will be an analytics engine, benchmarking your company with competitors in real time on key leading performance indicators. And fundamentally, it all requires new software, and we believe this software can help you look forward, can help you understand the road ahead, and we call that outside, inside.
Thank you so much.